Oh, what? Um, hi, welcome to my channel, and um, I'm not sure if the lighting is good or not. So, as you can see, I have like makeup on, but um, it's like bad. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this makeup off. I was like, where are my wipes? And they're here, and I'm using the Beauty 360. And these are the only makeup wipes that I have left, so like, yeah. Ray for me, rip. I want to get the Equate um, makeup wipe. I need to do an eyebrow tutorial. That's what we're doing today, an eyebrow tutorial. So, I'm gonna take off all this makeup that I have. I prefer to like rip my wipes in half so um, I don't waste so much product because I'm broke. Hopefully everything's nice and focused, but I don't think it is. Sorry if it's not. Um, again, I'm broke, so I'm gonna do a makeup look soon. Um, I'm thinking about um, downloading the trial for Final Cut Pro, but I want to make sure that I have a bunch of video ideas so that I just don't um, pick, like, I guess. Um, so I just don't like make random videos and like have them be trash because I don't want them to be trash because who wants their videos to be trash? I don't think anyone does. So actually I think I'm gonna try to film the look I had on today which um, is nice. Um, I used the sugar palette and don't come at me being like oh you know you shouldn't get that cuz like you know artists work hard for like you know their brand and stuff okay well at least it's not like the um the actual fake like a complete dupe like the copy like you know when you get this you know that you're getting like somewhat a crappy product and you know that it won't be nearly as good as the other ones and yeah i'm not that good at makeup so i'm experimenting and why am i gonna die why am i gonna die <laughs> buy why am i gonna die but like um why am i gonna buy such an expensive like palette like why no for what like i feel like since the shadows aren't all that pigmented they blend like easier and it's easier to build and for me it's difficult to blend would I get copyrighted for this music? I don't know, because it's instrumental, so would I get copyrighted? I don't know. So, sorry I'm a mess. It's just how I am. Okay, so one of the things that I want to do for a video is, I'm not really sure how it's called, a mukbang, mukbang. Um, but with poo because... I just think that'd be like a little bit different. I, s I like looked up if like people did that. People have done it, but um, I only saw like one person who like did it the way I wanted to. My face is red. You wanna like focus? I don't know, is it focusing? If all of this is blurry, like that's gonna suck cause I'm still gonna upload it. And sorry about my background. It's just my dresser, but like, I have such random stuff that I decided just to cover it up because it'll look weird. But if I it looks like Ratchet and Ghetto, and it looks like I'm at a crack house, but I'm not, I promise, guys. Oh, and I have another video coming up. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be good. Um, it's not gonna be great because I'm just not good at this stuff, but hopefully, um, people like it and I get viewers and stuff. And this wipe is like, it's done. It's done with me, like, just finished. I think I'm gonna take a shower soon, cause I look gross and disgusting and. We will do an eyebrow tutorial. I don't know, should I do it now? And then so like, to get the makeup off, I go take a shower? Or do I like, do it after I shower, but then I'm gonna have to take off the makeup regardless? So I don't know. Um, I cut some footage out. Because I don't want to get copyrighted, obviously, because who wants, who wants to get copyrighted, you know? 
no one. Oh, so I'm just gonna talk about random stuff because that's what I'm basically doing in this video. So this is like, I forgot what it was. Maybe it was Japanese. Okay, basically it's an Asian product and you use it for um, applying mascara. And I really like it for me and it works pretty decent. Um, I'm not gonna say the best because I just kind of suck at using it. But it works pretty good if you suck at like putting on mascara and stuff. I just like this one because it helps me separate my lashes because that's the big problem that I have. They like clump up together. I don't know, my eyelashes are weird and I'm a person whose eyelashes grow downwards. Oh, but I think it's really cool because you can do it this way and then this one's for your bottom lashes Or it might be the opposite way if you want like you could do that or you could try doing it like this for your lower lashes But yeah, I just think it's really cool and nice and this is my this is what I use first of all I have something to say why do people who have like no eyebrow hairs use like eyebrow gel like why? You don't like need it. You have no hairs to like stick down and tame. Like, what are you talking about? But anyways, um, I use this Wet n Wild Mega Clear one. No, if you can see it. Um, if you're wondering, like Mega Clear and it's like brown and crusty. Um, it's because I use it for yeah, like my brows and I just put like, you know. Okay, so I put my brow powder and then I put this and sometimes put it back in and yeah so it became like brown basically over time and this happened with my old one and stuff and I've used it for mascara too in general um and I also have brown mascara so like I don't know but yeah that's why it's crusty and brown but I really like it but I have I should probably try out the elf one because the elf one is like two dollars and I think this one is probably like five dollars so yeah other random products to talk about. The AOA Studio um, lippies or matte Not lip thingies. Okay, so um, they're alright. Like, the colors that I picked, I actually don't like, but it's because, like, whenever I go on their website, all of, like, the good shades obviously are sold out. So, yeah. I really like how this one smells, but I want to see what this one smells like again. Whoa, it just smells like generic like yeah thing like semi-scented i don't know how to explain it but this one smells really good i like it it smells like maybe like vanilla but not vanilla i don't know how to describe it but yeah i really like it and it's cute i also like this elf one how it smells too this one's also like vanilla but buttery like hazelnut and stuff Okay, so I think I'm also going to do ASMR on this channel, even though that might bother people because, like, it's going to be confusing maybe because, like, why are you doing ASMR and, like, makeup on the same channel? But, um, it's because I am and it's my style and it's my channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's my channel and stuff. The AOA highlighters are pretty good. I'd say for a dollar. I mean, they're baked, so you have to remove the top layer. Let's say I'm really pale, so I'm not like. That's an awkward angle, but I'm not like. I wouldn't say I'm the best person for swatches. But another highlighter that I think is really good, which I don't know which one would be better. I think this one would be better. It's this Dream Glow palette kit. It's from Five Below, and it was four dollars. And it comes with four shades, so in total it'd be, you know, a dollar for each one. Again, I'm really pale, so I don't get to use all the um, shades here, but these two shades are great. I mainly use this shade, as you can probably see and tell, kind of-ish. But yeah, I don't really touch these shades because they're, like, too dark for me. Actually, this one isn't so bad, but um, too dark for me. Cause it's like yellow it's a gold and i'm pale so i can use it and it makes me a little bit sad that's just life i have to accept it. <sighs> store my makeup brushes my eye brushes in this cup 
And I'm gonna tell you a story about this like cup because it's really ratchet and ghetto and stuff. I don't know if you guys can tell. I think it's blurry, I'm not sure. Um, dang, I really wish I had a phone tripod because I used to make videos when I was younger. And yeah, I had like a mini short tripod and I really wish I had that right now. For my sponges, I just use this pencil holder that says trash because I'm trash. <laughs> but yeah, I just use this for all my sponges and stuff. And yeah, I think it's really cute. Wow, thanks, car. I'm happy because I have three pairs of um eyelashes. Ardell lashes, so that's exciting. I like the wispies, but I thought they were a little bit too dramatic and I was scared. But I got these baby wispies. I already like use them. But they blend in with my actual lashes. And I think it actually looks a little bit too, like, simple for me. Like, not for a school day, because I don't know. I, I feel like I wouldn't wear it for a school day. Like, it's a little dramatic. Maybe in the future I will. We'll see, guys. But, um, yeah, I kind of want to get the wispies now. And I forgot. Okay, so for me, when I curl my eyelashes and I put mascara on them first, or even just curl them, um, they get in the way of my fake eyelashes, so that's what happened today, and I was upset because my eyelash I, I got my eyelashes on, but they just looked weird, and my hair looks weird, and and I need a new LA Pro Conceal because <sighs> I really like how the product is. Honestly, so many brands should sponsor me because like. I love cheap products. Like I'm all about the cheap products. Like I'm about this LA Pro Conceal. I'm about this wet and wild like um, not finished setting spray. I'm about this Rimmel makeup primer. I'm all about it. I'm about this Michelle Airway. Like sponsor me, cause I feel like this next one. But I'm scared because I feel like I go a little bit too overboard with stuff like this. I have this Revlon highlighter too. One of the things I don't like, one of the products that I don't like, actually, I like this e.l.f. one, but it's a little bit weird. You know how sometimes when you, like, squirt out ketchup and that water stuff comes out? Yeah, that's what happens with this product. Whoa, do you see that? Like, there's water coming out. I don't know if you see that. Oh, yep, just water is coming out, like, ah. I don't know. Where should I swatch it? I'm gonna try to... So that's what I don't like about this product is it comes out with some water. This is the Lilac um, Petal one by e.l.f. Hopefully you see it. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. But one product that I hate and I was shook about was this AOA Studio, the mascara, because I did not read what it was. I thought that these were like a primer like have you seen those like white mascaras and then you put the black on top yeah that's what i thought it was no so i opened this uh, i opened this these things come out and i was like i don't even know like i was like did the mascara dry out i was like trying to get it out it happened i was like I was genuinely so confused. I was like, is this a prank? Is this a joke? Like, I was like, I did not get it, but. It comes with like fibers and it's supposed to make your eyelashes like more voluminous. For me, that's not a problem. I'd say volume wise, I have like problems with my eyelashes like going downwards. And if anything, sometimes I get a little bit too much volume and it clumps up all together and stuff like that. And I just hate that. Um, the Neutrogena one. Which I'm a little bit disappointed with this Neutrogena one. I thought it would be better. It's not bad, but like, I just thought it would be better. I don't know how some people like grab the mascara and they twirl it. Like how, like, I don't have that coordination. Like, my mom can do that. Um, one thing with having long eyelashes like me, especially since they go downwards. Um, sometimes I blink and like, there's mascara like all over. And I'm too broke to get setting powder. So I just use baby powder, which honestly, baby powder can like cause cancer. Hopefully I'm not out of frame. If I am, sucks to be me and you. Uh, I don't know what else to say. And that's how I'm ending this video. Bye.